And today we are here with AOV. What's going on, man? So, um, I like starting small, small, just normal, personal questions. So, I'm going to ask you, for those who don't know, your name. Okay, AO Beach. No. <laughs> Is it A Y O? Yeah. And then it's B E A T with a Z. With a Z? Okay, yeah, I thought yeah. it was an S. Okay. I know, so. it gets, it happens all the time. <laughs> even, even my video directors sometimes put S. S yeah. And you're like, why, why does yeah. it? Um, just because it just seems more cause urban. It, yeah. <laughs> more urban. More urban. Okay, yeah, so more urban. I don't know if you want to tell me this, but I always ask them yes. their age or age range. I'm in my 20s. Okay. So I'm in my 20s too. Cool. Hey, I, I can finally think we're say in the that. Same I can actually part of the 20s, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not going to go into yeah, that. Yeah, because I just got into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think, yeah. yeah exactly. I'm yeah. brand new, brand but, new, yeah, just a few I'm, days. I'm okay, describe yourself and what you do in a sentence. Um, I am a musician, an artist, mm -hmm. and, a, and a producer. Okay, yeah, so basically. which came first, producing or being an artist and why? Um, being an artist came first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've, I've been an artist for, for quite a while. Well, I've been trying to be an artist yeah. like, for a while. Mm -hmm. um, it started when I went over to um, New York. So I went over to New York and I lived over there for a little bit. Okay. And I used to do little raps with my cousin. Mm -hmm. um, come back to the UK, um, I was in a group. Um, okay. Me and another guy, um, and we, and yeah, basically mm -hmm. he used to produce and yeah. I used to do the rapping. Mm -hmm. And then from there, obviously, um, after a while, yeah. he kind of showed me a bit about That's production. Yeah. So I started doing some bits for myself okay. and then other people heard it and was yeah. like, oh, actually, can you do something for me? Yeah. And then that's how. So would you say you're m more known as a producer or an artist? It varies, to be fair. <laughs> it varies, like, yeah, man, because, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of people that have come across me mm -hmm. uh, in the production yeah. aspect don't even know I'm an artist. Okay, a lot of times yeah. they've just, we've just, oh, yeah, I heard about you, but yeah. as a producer, yeah. and then after we've worked together and then maybe they've done their research mm. or YouTube and they're like, oh, I didn't even yeah. know you. You know what I mean? And then the other way around as well, like a, in the entertainment yeah. side of things, like, you know, uh, TV stuff or, yeah. or, or radio stuff, a lot of the time they don't know that I produce. Yeah. They just yeah. heard my songs or see my videos and they're like, yeah, he's an artist. Okay, so what yeah. do you find easier or harder producing? Or being an artist, um, and why? I don't know. You know, it's a hard no, it one. It has it's, to be one. It's a hard I'd one. I'd say if no, but I'm not. I'm neither. But yeah. I'd probably say producing because yeah. like you're in the background, no stress. Yeah. No, like if the song bangs, it bangs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You don't bang, yeah. Like, but when you no, say but like, there's, there's, look, there's producer pressure as well because mm. like for example, like number one, you have got every single person in the world ringing you. Mm. Where's my track? Where's the mix? Where's the file? Mm. This, that, and that. When can we get in? Yeah. When can we do that? And you're in charge of mm. everybody's careers. Yeah. So imagine like you've done someone's um, album, that like you've done three, four people's yeah. albums. You're in charge of their music. Like if they need a PA mix for a show, yeah. like you're, it's like your baby. Well, being an artist, yeah. it's like, that's you're the star and everyone's working for you. But yeah, exactly. But obviously you got to spend your own money. <laughs> or oh, yeah. If you're independent anyway, yeah. you got to, so you have to be the front person mm -hmm. for, for everything. So for okay. example, if I had a producer yeah. telling me, uh, why don't you do it like this? Or why don't you do a track like that? I'm the actual, if I'm, a, if I'm the actual artist, yeah. I'm doing it. If it fails, they look yeah. at me, yeah. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. So they don't look at the producer, exactly. oh, how, what, you know what I mean? The producer's never really Yeah, exactly, like that. so, yeah, so, okay. so it's, it's, it's even. even yeah. way. Yeah. Now to your music, your song, Abu Dhabin. Yeah. Did I say that right now? Yeah, Abu Dhabin. <laughs> Abu Dhabin. Yeah. Whew. What was the inspiration and story behind that? Um, so basically, um, I, I had a record called Burj Khalifa, yeah. basically, um, that I released over here and it got a lot of um, love in Dubai, basically. Okay. So Bur Burj Khalifa basically is the tallest building in the world okay, and it's yeah, in Dubai. Right. So basically I made a record called um, Burj Khalifa, more as a punchline, like, yeah. oh, we do it big, yeah, big Burj Khalifa. Exactly. So 
basically, I made that record and it started getting played on the radio in Dubai. Yeah, Dubai um, yeah. And it was getting a lot of requests in Dubai. And basically, this group, um, the group I collaborated with on Abu Dhabi yeah. called SOS, yeah. they um, heard it in Dubai and then they, were, they contacted me and they were like, oh, we need to work together. Okay. And then I checked out their stuff and it was dope. So Did they fly you out to Dubai for that video? Or yeah, you? yeah, oh, basically, okay. yeah. So that happened. And okay. we flew um, our director, so Eric Myers. Oh. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, nice. so yeah, that's how it happened. Basically, they contacted me, but um, mm -hmm. I'd heard of them as well, collaborated. Um, I sent them over the record, they liked it, yeah. recorded it, and then we just planned this whole mad... Okay, well, issue. I have to... Obviously, we're always real on the show, and I have to, you know, because we do our research. I always say this live. We do our research. We go on YouTube comments. We go on Twitter and everything. Yeah. So the comments... Yeah. Under this video, we're like a bit, a bit mad. Yeah, actually. they're mad. They're, they're mad a bit extreme. mad. They're a bit mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you have to say to, like, I won't say direct things, but um, let's say with people saying that you copied a lot of, you know, aspects yeah. and stuff like that. What do you yeah. have to say to people? I mean, like, yeah, like, obviously I've heard it, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. um, that, like, a lot of people have said, oh, yeah, yeah similar to the Miss video, for mm -hmm. example. Like, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. We shot in the same place. Yeah. You know, we shot it at the same time, yeah. it, at the exact same time. And, I, and Miss is a cool friend of mine, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we were actually in Dubai at the same time shooting our videos and we were supposed and to then, link up, but yeah. we didn't get, because we were both shooting. Yeah. So it's unfortunate because it would have been, been cool yeah. to see Miss in my video, exactly, me in Miss video. Yeah. But it's cool, like, you know what I mean? I like his video as well, a friend of mine shot that for us. Okay. So yeah, man, you know, I don't mind if it's similar. getting one million views on this? Um, it's surreal, like, it's just unreal, because, like, obviously it's been, like, this year I've done a lot, I've yeah. put a lot in, you know what I mean, like, a lot of collaborations, yeah. a lot of trying to get noticed, and I've been around for years, you know what I mean, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just surreal, like, I think, I don't know, it's weird, it's like, when you get, when you're in this space, yeah. when you get a million views, when you actually yeah. hit a million views, I mean, like, up to that point, so much has happened, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Behind the scenes, like, so much has happened. Mm -hmm. Like, even just even pe seeing people like Jesse J tweet yeah. the record, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? People like, uh, you know what I mean? Everybody supporting people like Chip, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Being in Abu Dhabi with Krepton Conan and yeah. performing to 30,000 people. And all of this has kind of, like, happened yeah. already before I <laughs> a million yeah. views. So it's like, <laughs> now it's like, oh, it's just a million views, but yeah. it's like... All of this has already yeah. happened, do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's just seeing what happens next. Okay, do you agree that producers don't get enough credit? Yeah, I definitely do. What do you have to say? I mean, about this? I think it's just like you know, it's the work, it's it's the scene we're in, it's the it's the times we're in, mm -hmm. basically. Everybody makes beats. Yeah. Everyone's got a studio. Everybody does, you know what I mean? And yeah. we got things like uh, Instagram and Twitter and mm -hmm. all of that. So and the media. Yeah. So. When you've got the media and then you've got everybody doing it, yeah. the only way you can notice a particular person is if their media is, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Or their name. And that's why for me, it was important to be an artist as well. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the time it's like I'm doing a beat. Like for example, yeah. More Money No Problems mm -hmm. with Rattling. Like people wouldn't have known I produced that yeah. if I wasn't on the chorus. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like it's important to do that, to, yeah. to make people know. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Who are your top three producers in the UK? Jeez! Oh, we have to Oh man, that's a mad be. question yeah. still. <laughs> no, that's mad because like, obviously I know a lot of producers. Yeah, but the they're going to be like, oh, what? So, no, they're not. So, like, people. so fam, the so. Whole, they're grown people. Like, you okay, okay. Um, all right, I just put it together with people that I've been around, and then people that you just don't I haven't want to hurt around. feelings. Like, yeah, because there's so many dope. Okay, but your Listen. top three. Okay, definitely. top three. Yeah, I I pick from different genres here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. I like Steel Bangles. Okay. Yeah, he's sick. Still, I rate Steel Shout Bangles. Shout to you. Um, Next person. Is that number one then or number three? I can't, I'm not putting it in order. Okay. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. Okay. Uh, all right, still bangles. Uh -huh. Then I will say, I'll say Labyrinth. I have to say okay, Labyrinth. Yeah, like, yeah. That's my, my guy. And mm -hmm. he's just like, I've seen him, physically seen him do, yeah, put do stuff thing, together. Yeah. So I have to rate him on that level. Uh -huh. And then, jeez. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> this individual, because there's a lot of production groups as well, yeah. but we just go about individuals. Uh-huh. Um, Calvin Harris. Okay, uh, okay, that, that's very different. That's yeah. actually different. You're lucky. Yeah. Calvin Harris, yeah. Okay, so what has been your favourite song you've produced? Like your favourite, you have to pick one. That's this year? Yeah, this year. This year, because like... I've d- okay, no, that's not yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's not, not my song. That's not yours. Okay, cool. Um, that I'm not on? That you're not on. Nothing to do with you. Just Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, we have to broaden it to like... Ah, oh, see, you you're making it easy for yourself. All right, all right. Not, okay, not just like this year then, because like, then... Because all all most of the stuff I've done this okay, year, I've been on. In, in general. So, in general. Okay, uh... The tune, there's two. Can I say two? She's no. getting, she's getting vexed now. She's no, like, no, no you, can't you can't really. No, you can't. You can't. I need to be harsh. All you right, can't. all right, all right, all right. Um, it's uh the the, the um, sky's the limit remix that okay. I done for Jason Derulo. Okay. That was dope. All yeah, right, that cool. Dope. That's actually a big credit. Yeah. Okay, so your favorite person now that you've worked with. This is not. <laughs> This is not even a deep question. Trouble, man. My phone's gonna, gonna start going off when this gets But how is this gonna get you in trouble? Like, just they're gonna you. be like, ah, oh, right. So what? Yeah, so, no, you were good to work with. Yeah, I just but, have a favorite. But, like, I have my favorite interview person that I've done. Like, yeah. But every everyone's been good. Like, you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah so right. So I'm not the favorite. <laughs> no, you're not the okay, favorite. Cool then. So, no, but, all right, wait, no, wait, no, wait. no. Don't backtrack. Okay. <laughs> you you don't see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? What you're saying. But it shouldn't hurt feelings if you're just being that. Like, um. You should right, have your cool. reasons as well. Like who, who, um, favorite. No, I can't. It, like in what way? Uh, maybe it's in my hat what way? Too tight. I don't know what's going on. I'm going too long. I don't know if it's you or his hat. Yeah, yeah, oh man. I don't know, like, I don't know. That's too, that's too, hard. that's a hard question. Because, like, there's different dynamics in which you work as well. Like, some people I, I struggle more to work with, yeah. but the music that the music we come out with, it. or we argue in the studio, yeah. or we're like, ah, oh, nah, this, that, 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 that. But then in the end, like, like, like for example, when I work with Biggs, it's mm-hmm. always an emotional, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But in the end, yeah, it's the song the song we put together is like a musical masterpiece. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then there's might be other people that, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you're cool, well, you you're know, mates, but you don't, I'll let yeah, I'll you can't. Things. Okay, imagine like February, yeah. you're sitting in the studio in the UK, yeah. making a song called I'm Dabbing Out in Abu yeah. Dhabi. And fast forward, six months later, you're in yeah. Abu Dhabi, yeah. Dabbing on stage with thirty thousand people, yeah. and they're all singing. I'm dabbing out, yeah. and I'm, like it's just mad. Like you yeah. don't. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, it's, like crazy. it's mad. It's just Actually, you don't. Yeah. You never know. Sometimes it just, it just it works. Just, it it's just still, works. <laughs> you get me. Okay, so this is another comment that you know that we had to bring up. So, um, and yeah. I, I know you see and hear this comment, and we yeah. just want to know like your reply. Like, yeah. To people saying that you copy future. Like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, let me tell you a funny story, yeah. Tell me. Okay. Say it. Somebody say someone was saying, oh, there's this new guy that just came out yeah. and he sounds like you. Okay. I was like, okay, send me the link. Mm-hmm. Send me the link. It was future. <laughs> you get me? I was like, oh. rah, at that time. Hey. But this is like five, six okay, years ago, yeah, five years ago. So yeah, so they were like, ah, oh, it's future. I was like, oh, he don't sound like me. Mm. Come on. So anyway, I'm carrying on my musical journey. Yeah. And it's like, obviously, future obviously has yeah. become very, very yeah, popular. Yeah, so now it will make yeah. it like, oh, you're trying to sound like Yeah, future. but it's weird because yeah. I've always done this style. Yeah. It's not been, I mean, so it might, I, ha- I did spend a lot of time in Atlanta. Yeah. At that time, future wasn't out. Yeah. So maybe... The influence. Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying, like I we might have been saying, influenced like by the you same. You saying this, yeah. people are actually gonna think raw. Like it's a yeah. good thing you're saying this because yeah. it makes sense. I never just came out now. Yeah. There's a lot of people that did just come out yeah. now and are yeah, trying to do it, but they just do. don't have a similar yeah. voice, so they don't get compared. Yeah. But me, I've been out for sense. years. I've been out. I've been out now for years and years. Yeah. Doing stop. the same thing, the same hooks, the same. You could ask. Yeah. <laughs> ask crazy. anyone. Okay, so um, a lot of people don't know the difference between producing and making beats. So, like, if you could explain that, though, even yeah. to me, because okay. I don't know myself. Okay, uh, so this is what it is. <clears throat> a producer doesn't necessarily have to make a beat. He doesn't actually have to play any, anything. Okay. But 
he produces the overall song. If you understand okay, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I so like I don't know exactly. if you know who Barry Gordy is, for example. He's yeah. you don't. I think Motown. you should stop asking me, like, if because <laughs> it's making you feel young, isn't it? Okay, okay. Like, like, like Motown, like yeah, Motown, yeah, yeah. Barry Gordy, Motown, yeah, yeah. Motown. He was a producer, but he didn't always play everything, okay, but he yeah, could he make just, sure. Just, yeah, everything. Yeah, produced. so he could say, okay, yeah, you know, this is how this should yeah. go. That so that's really a producer, isn't it? Exactly Whereas a beat maker just makes a beat. And then that's it. You do what you want to do. Does that not mean a lot of these producers are beat makers then? Yeah, kind of. I mean, like, I mean, like, okay, like, I'll give you an example, yeah? DJ Mustard, you know okay, who yeah, DJ yeah, Mustard yeah, is, yeah. right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he don't make every single beat that he has his mustard on the yeah, beat type, yeah. but he oversees the whole, yeah, the whole yeah. song. So if he needs a vocal from there, yeah. oh, you know what, why don't we get a hook from yeah. so-and-so? Oh, you know what yeah, would be good if that's this, that. Produce, okay. So therefore, but some people do both. Like, because it's the modern day and now everyone's got software. Yeah. And now people do both. So people make a beat, mm -hmm. then they go and get the artist, then the artist comes in and say, oh no, why don't we get so-and-so yeah, on the hook? Yeah, Let's yeah, do yeah. That is producing that's the whole song. Okay, yeah. A beat maker just makes a beat, it's on YouTube or wherever. Mm. You could go and download yeah. and do what you want to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. That Kanye West is a producer. He took, for example, a designer's track, um, yeah. uh, uh, Panda, uh, Panda oh, yeah. and put it on his album and yeah. did all musical changes. Yeah, and yeah. Like he's, he didn't make that original beat, mm -hmm. but he produced, produced it. There you mm. go. Okay, so what's the creative <clears throat> process behind producing? Like, do you wake up in the morning and you're like, yeah. okay, I got this, Beat yeah. in my head, I don't yeah. want to do this. Like, what is the process? I think with my stuff, it is a lot of the time. My own artist stuff, it's mm -hmm. like that. So I just wake up, I'm, oh, this is a sick hook. Yeah. Like, right there. So I, 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 I might record like a little piano, yeah. put my chorus down, mm -hmm. then start to build the beat around it. Okay. And then after I put my verses in once, the yeah. hook and then, um, <clears throat> And then if I was producing for someone else, more time I start with the beat. Mm -hmm. So I do like a beat idea first. Yeah a part of it maybe like a little eight bars and just yeah. a little part of the yeah. track and then i'd vibe with the artist mm -hmm. we'd come up with choruses or stuff like that we'll put that down do the rest of the beat okay. then i let the artist just write their verses okay yeah so because you've been in the game for a very long time so and i ask um guests this a lot like what they think of what's going on now like this yeah. whole year i feel like there's been a change in a lot of music and mm genres and stuff like that so what do you think of like new genres such as like afro swing and the whole mixing trap and afro beats and because mm. it's like afro beats is the core yeah and everyone's just doing their own thing with it so yeah. what do you think of that i think it's good man i, I feel like um afro beats was always afro beats yeah. And then you had all these other genres, yeah. and I think Afrobeats has now got so popular yeah. that it's influencing it's, everything. Yeah, so it's good that it has an outlet because I always said this: like, like Afrobeats is too big just to be one style yeah. of beat. Mm -hmm. Like, it can't just have one style of because the, the, it's Afrobeats is like it's a lifestyle. It is. So you know, like you got like you know, yeah, look at African this. Yeah, Afrobeats is a lifestyle. You got people that are not even African, that are, or they are Africans. Well, yeah. But I'm saying they could like, be Africans or they could be, but they might not be Nigerian yeah. or Ghanaian. Like who are songs, yeah, Jenna, yeah. All these people and they're doing, Africans. you know, they add an accent to yeah, their even when they talk. They, you know, what I mean, so. Yeah. It's, it's influencing everything, so it's good that now it's like diversifying mm -hmm. into like, for example, like the UK scene now, yeah. Afro swing and all of that. It's like now we've got something we have, in, the UK yeah, in the UK that still is Afro beat, but it's okay. UK. Yeah. So, okay, this is a general question now. What yeah. has been your producer? So you should like, yeah. what has been your favourite? Yeah. Should I say Afro beats or song like UK song? Mm. This year, twenty six. Okay. Afro beat wise, Afro swing wise, or Afro. Yeah, Afro um, swing wise. Okay, I definitely think Sneak Bo and Sona hurt nobody. Hurt no. oh, yeah, that's hurt crazy. Everyone, yeah. literally Mad. everyone, Mad. everyone will say that. But that's actually your tune. It is. Yeah. I think mine would be Kojo Funds. Murder. See, everyone thought I would say Don't the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Murder. murder. Like, okay. That song is just sweet. I haven't heard that one still. I I'll have to check that out. Year. Imagine if that was 2015. Jeez. But it was, <laughs> it was actually banging. It's yeah. actually banging. Yeah. Okay, so weird. where do you see yourself in five years? In five years? Yeah. I see myself. 
I see myself in maybe like uh, an executive position, okay. maybe a record company, mm. maybe something like that, maybe something entrepreneurial. I definitely want to stay within music, yeah. but obviously, you know, if something comes yeah. along that, that could, yeah. yeah, but I definitely, I feel like I can offer something to the industry more okay. than just me as an artist. I feel like I can put hands in different mm -hmm. careers yeah. and help people. I feel like I just yeah, know. I see that too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, so where can we find you? Okay, so you can find me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, it's AO underscore beats with a Z. Okay. Instagram, just AO Beats mm -hmm. with a Z. Um, and then the rest you could just Please. Google me for. Yeah, or oh, YouTube me, search okay. my name, AO Beats with a Z, and you'll find all my features. Okay, and well. Oh, well, AOBeats.com. Second time someone's spoke. <laughs> AOBeats.com, you know. Okay. That has everything in there. Well, that's enough from me and Ayo. Definitely tune into our next episodes. And guys, please subscribe. Like, it's free to subscribe. I never say this, but I'm going to start because you guys, for some reason, don't want to subscribe. So, bye, guys. Say bye. See you later.